Hey guys, welcome to the top 10 list. Welcome to my top 10 of my favorite Insomniac games. Insomniac, well, let's just face it, they make some bangers. I wish they made more games, but I think just based off the quality of stuff they put out, they're one of the best gaming, develop gaming developers out there. They are phenomenal. They have barely made a single bad game. Um, I know everyone says like maybe like Naughty Dog is one of the best out there. Ubisoft, if you're on drugs, I don't know. Um, you get uh, Square Enix or Square Soft, they're up there too. Just I don't. I think Insomniac is one of the best. Uh, even though, like I said, I want more games for them, but they created like the Spyro, Ratchet and Clank, Spider-Man games. Just they've done a lot of great series of games and. I thought I'd just talk about my top 10 of my favorite Insomniac games. Yeah, it, there's only like four franchises on here, but let's put them in order of my favorites. So it's not wasting any time. Number 10, Ratchet and Clank, Up Your Arsenal. This is the third Ratchet and Clank, because second one's going Commando. This was one of the last PS2 Ratchet and Clank games, and I love the weapons that are used in this movie, this movie video game. So you should talk about movies. Um, the bosses are awesome. The level design, great. And it's actually the first Ratchet and Clank game. When I was younger, it actually was a challenge. I always thought the first two Ratchet and Clank games were pretty simple, pretty straightforward, fun platformer shooting games, but easily done. Uh, Up Your Arsenal actually had some level difficulty, especially if you're going for the 100% collectible tro uh, trophies for the PS3, obviously. Uh, I enjoyed it. Uh, I think this is one of the top Ratchet & Clank games. Some people would debate that the first one is still better. I didn't put the first one on here for reasons I will get into, but yeah, Up Your Arsenal, awesome. Number 9, Ratchet & Clank 2015 Remake. I'm putting this over the first, uh, the original. It's a remake of the original. I just think it's more playable. Uh, the first Ratchet and Clank for the PS2 is fantastic. It's a great game, iconic game, but the remake is just more playable. It's not as clunky. It's not as stiff. It adds more to the story. It puts more comedic elements to it. It's more bright and colorful and lively. I just like the level designs more. I just think it's done a lot better. Because uh, when you play the 20, 2015 remake and then you go back to the original PS2 Ratchet and Clank, it's 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 very stiff. It's very dated. And this has nothing to do with the PS2 or anything. It's just the PS4, how they handle Ratchet and Clank from then on out, it's just, it's just done better. So, just saying. Number eight, Resistance Fall of Man. This is a great game. This is a PS3 launch title, and it was the fourth PS3 game I played. The first PS3 game I played was the first Assassin's Creed, and then I played Force Unleashed, and then I played Marvel's Ultimate Alliance, which was a PS2 game, but it was PS3 as well. Then I played Resistance Fall of Man. This is a great game. It's a fantastic uh, first-person shooter. It's very different game mechanics than, like, let's say, a Call of Duty or even the Tom Clancy games. Uh, it is an alien invasion movie. Movie Again, I'm going with movie. Uh, alien invasion game, kind of like a Gears of War or a Halo. But I actually think Resistance Fall Man is better than most Halo games. <laughs> um, the, and this also was the beginning of, like, online multiplayer for Resistance. I wasn't big on online multiplayer for Resistance Fall Man. I played the campaign. It was a really good campaign, a really good story. I did play some couch co-op with Resistance Fall Man. Had a lot of fun with it. Had great memories with Resistance, Resistance Fall Man, but it's not my favorite Resistance game. That goes to number seven, Resistance 2. Uh, I don't have Resistance 3 on here because I never played it. I played Resistance 1 and 2, and then I just stopped playing them. I don't know why. I think it was, that was also during the time period I just stopped playing games in general. I, uh, near, like, the ending of the PS3 era, ending a PS3 era to beginning PS4 era, I kind of stopped for a long time playing games. So Resistance 3 was part of that. Um, Resistance 2, though, I had a blast. This, like, 
the story and campaign was was good. And I again, like I played catch co-op on this, but it was the online multiplayer. That's what I played. I dived into the online multiplayer. This was like one of the first online multiplayer shooting games I used to rock. Because even though I did play Call of Duty in the past, I never really played the multiplayers until later on in life. I just played the campaigns. But yeah, holy shit. Uh, the online multiplayer for Resistance 2. So much, so much good memories. So much fun. Holy crap. Just some of the level designs they put in. Oh, you could just put hundreds of hundreds of hours into the online multiplayer Resistance 2. And that's why I just one of the best such a great game all right number six is ratchet and clank a crack in time this was one of the best like ratchet and clank games for a long time because for a long time i thought this was the last ratchet and clank game i think this i thought this was going to be the ending for ratchet and clank because it very much feels like a climax to the series uh visually it's fantastic it's one of the best ps3 games out there visually it's fantastic the level design is so good this was really competing as like one of the best like PS PS3 platformers out there, right up there with like Portal 2. Um, I loved this game. I loved the humor. I loved the twist at the end. I I just think this is a fantastic game. Again, new weapons, new level designs, uh, new story arcs for Clank, and it just it's, it just does its job, and especially how they do the time travel and how they. You know, they go into the previous games within this game. Super cool. Very, uh, very thought-provoking for a Ratchet and Clank game. I'll give it that. So, definitely one of the best Ratchet and Clank games. All right, number five. Now we're getting into Spyro. Number five, Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage. I love me some Spyro. Ripto's Rage. Uh, I don't have the first Spyro on here because I think it is a good game. But I think this, the, the sequels were better. Ripto's Rage brought in the great villains of Ripto, Crush, and Gulp. I love them. They're so great. Uh, just childhood right here. I remember putting so many hours into the Spyro games. Ripto's Rage was one of my favorites. Uh, this brought in the uh, the orbs, which I love. Um, I think this is the one with Trouble with the Trolley. Is this Trouble with the Trolley, eh? So good. Um... I love it. I love it. This was, to me, this is one of the hardest Spyro games because uh, getting the 100% gems and orbs and doing the trials, the flying levels, there's a challenge, but this is a great game, though. It brought in, like, again, Ripto. It brought in, like, Hunter, and it brought in Aurora. Like, it brought in all these characters, and it, this was, like, the iconic Spyro game. And I know everyone will say put the first one on there, but... Which was very just better. <laughs> Number four, Spider-Man 2. Spider-Man 2 just came out last year. Killer game. Amazing open world superhero game. You get to play as Eddie Brock in this game. You got Miles, Peter, Eddie. So good. Um, it just, it gives you everything that you want and more within the Spider-Man video game worlds. Great story. All three of them have a story. Mostly it's Miles and Peter's story. And it, they're great. This is just a fun, like, 100% platinum to go through. The combat's just so good. You can just play Spyro, uh, Spyro, Spider-Man games just for hours and hours, swinging around New York City as these characters. It's just so good. The soundtrack kicks ass in this game. The ending fight sequence is so good. Just, it's fucking Spider-Man. These are great games. Number three, Spyro, Year of the Dragon. This is the best Spyro game in my opinion, it's the best. It, it has the most creativity. It has all the new characters. You get to play not only as Spyro and even Hunter, but you also get to play as all these new characters like the Kang uh, Sheila the Kangaroo, Sergeant Bird, Agent 99, um, Bentley. You get to play all these. They have their own levels and stuff. You're hunting dragon eggs. You get to meet Bianca for the first time. Oh, there's like a little romance in it. There's just so much in this game. It's actually got like a very charming and lovable story. Just all the characters and the designs and the world. You get money bags. You get to fucking take revenge on him. My God, that's satisfying. It's it's the best Spyro game. I don't even think it's a competition. This is the best Spyro game. So there you go. Objectively. <laughs> Number two. Spider-Man, the first Spider-Man, 2018 Spider-Man. Great game, great worlds. Um, almost everything that I'm said about Spider-Man 2, 
I say more about Spider-Man 1. So this was just the beginning of truly amazing superhero video games. Like we had some okay superhero video games, but Spider-Man showed that like you can get remarkable superhero video games. This to me, I think is the best uh, superhero video game ever made. This is 2018 Spider-Man. You actually get to feel like you're Peter Parker, living the life of Peter Parker as a photographer, as a scientist helping uh, Dr. Osborne, um, not Dr. Osborne, Octavius, and you get to live your life and you're hiding your secret from Aunt May and stuff, then you're helping Miles out and it's an incredible story. And the combat is amazing. This, the web movement around New York City is fantastic. The side quests are great. Just finding Howard's Pigeons is just amazing. Everything about this this game is incredible. It's one of the best superhero games. Probably the best superhero game ever made. But it's not number one. Number one is Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. This is the best Insomniac game for me. Um, it's the best Ratchet and Clank game. Visually, it's incredible. It uh, brings in a new character of Ribbit. Ribbit actually is more interesting than, than Ratchet, which I didn't think that was possible. How they do the alternate time realities of Ratchet with Ribbit is awesome. So clever, so unique. Uh, best visual gunplay I've ever seen. Some of the best unique platforming. It, it, it is everything you want in a Ratchet and Clank game. And then some. This game is even for people who've never even played a Ratchet and Clank game. I always say, like, if you've never played Ratchet and Clank, play Rift Apart first. You'll be hooked to the series instantly because it's the best. And it's the best Insomniac game, in my opinion. So there you go. That's my top 10, my favorite Insomniac games, in my opinion. So let me know in the comments below what are your top 10 favorite Insomniac games. Comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like this video, please like, subscribe to the channel, and join the dark side.